Welcome to the channel no one watches. I'm the Blank Man, and today we are starting our playthrough of the unofficial fourth part of Back to the Future. Back to the Future, the game by Telltale Games. I am a huge fan of Back to the Future, um, my favorite movie. I think Back to the Future Part 2 and 3 are very good. I think Back to the Future, my favorite movie. I have posters, I have little tiny little doll guys from Pop, the little Pop vinyl dudes. And today, we're going to begin playing. I've never played this game before, which is crazy. you think I would have, but now is the time. For the first time, Back to the Future, the game. Press A to begin. It's gonna be like, who do you... Pick a, pick a storage device. I don't know if this game came out on the 360. So when they talk, I'm gonna be pretty quiet. Select an episode, okay. Um, we only got five episodes. Okay, so we're gonna start with, it's about time. I mean, if they, like during the cutscenes, I'm not gonna talk. There it is, boys, the DeLorean. Oh, it's not a cutscene, okay. New game. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Yes, show goals. Just so, you know, I can keep us in line. Starring Telltale Games. I don't know, you know? Oh. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einy. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. So this is a a recreation. The car, the car. This is a recreation of this the scene from the original Back to the Future. I'm getting a lot of chills right now. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. If I was a cameraman, I'd be like, nope, gone. I'm, I'm getting way out the way. Watch this, watch believe this. that. Uh. <laughs> I tell you? Miles what the power. heck? The temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds. Oh. We don't want no lag. Doc. Who the heck was that? Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux espresso. Look out! JP Piney. Couldn't be JC Penny. Huh. Uh. Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, w what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Oh, man. Okay. Are we going to play now? Oh! Get Doc the notebook. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. How do I move? Oh, is it just left and right? Is there no... 
Okay. Toolbox. Some sealed container. Press L B R B to cycle through selectable and then press A to select it. What's in the box? Don't touch that! It's plutonium! P uh, plutonium? How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? Okay, I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited. Notebook. Notebook. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, Got notebook. It. Oh my flux gosh, capacitor? look at that. That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. It's in this notebook, the I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared, and the flux dis- Um, Doc? Oh, man. Can we get out of here before the Libyans show up? Oh, my gosh. What? How does he know? How does he know the Libyans are supposed to? What is happening? But yeah, this isn't how it went in the in, in Back to the Future uh, One. This isn't how Doc? it went. Things are different, but Marty knows somehow. Oh no! Great oh. Scott! What? Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake. <gasps> what is happening? Doc! What? No. I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, what is happening? No! Doc. Oh, oh, it was just a drink. Come on, dude, that was so hype. For a second, I thought they were doing like a. Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. That's a photoshopped picture of but the original picture with their Your animated heads. Waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. He's gonna just with the power of love back to the future of the game. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, dude. All right. Episode one, it's about time. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped. Jules Verne. So this takes place after Back to the Future Part 3, of course. I thought they were doing in the opening, what I thought they were doing was, Old Hill Valley right there. What I thought they were doing was, um, like what if the original timeline is what gets erased? Or like some weird, oh my god, I thought some sort of like weird time travel shenanigans. Something that like that Future Man would do. If you guys haven't seen Future Man, it's on, what is it, on Hulu? Watch Future Man, it might not be on Hulu. I don't know, it might be on Prime. It feels like a show that would be on like Hulu though, to be honest. May, May 14, 1986, estate sale. Wait, hold on. Dad! Are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Oh my gosh. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... remembering. Select items around the lab to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. Okay. Let's see. Door dog feeder. Hey, let me! Now, Biff... Leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. G sorry, Marty. So I, I wonder what actors reprised their role. Because I know Christopher Lloyd 100% is Doc Brown in this. Marty is not played by Michael J. Fox. I'm, I figure 
that George McFly is not played by the actor who plays George McFly. I can't remember his name. What happened to Einstein? Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene? That's convenient. To prevent your own conception, for example. That's a cool little Easter egg. What is that? A uh, George. Oh, George McFly. More clocks. Town Square models. So go more clocks. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Fish tank. Hold on. George television. Fish tank. A fish tank. I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kind of like Doc. I don't like Doc. It's a really good Marty McFly impression. If this was Michael J. Fox, I would I would be like, okay. It doesn't sound it's not perfect, but he's a little older when he's filming this, right? Doc so. built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, I can can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Have you looked at Doc's model of Hill Valley? Family Connections peek inside motel. I saw it first. Family Connections. You, know, you and my folks go way back. Yeah? So? So how about letting me have that model courthouse uh, for old time's sake? Eh, I think I'll keep it. Give it here, Biff. Oh my gosh, Biff is the well, worst. Well, well, look at what we have here. Bro, you tell me George McFly wouldn't be Looks all over like Biff. plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> Uh-oh. If you need help, press Y. Press... The... Okay, so let's see. We looked at the town square model scientific experiment. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Yo, Doc. Pulling a Batman on everybody. The mind-reading like helmet. that was a lifetime ago. Actually, it... I guess it was. That was in uh, Back to the Future Part 1. Hey, let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let me See, Marty like, why isn't turn. he, like, give him the freaking thing? You got it, thing. Mr. McFly. Okay, so now can I use the freaking jukebox? Where is it? I want the jukebox. Let me use... Man, okay. Where's the vat? I'm seeing vat. Oh, does that say vase? That must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> well, that smells like beef stew. You know, I could never tell if beef stew was like a good smell or not. Here we go. <gasps> Enough of that junk. Enough of that junk. Now, Biff. Sorry, Marty. This are you kidding me, bro? Jukebox. <gasps> this guy. Enough this of guy. That junk. This guy. Could you imagine? Now, Biff. This guy. Sorry, Marty. Oh my bad, dude. Sorry. Fine, dude. Okay. Scientific equipment. All right, I just want to make sure we hit everything. It's time to talk to Biff. Hey, Biff. The notebook reminds me of Doc. You wouldn't understand the notebook. I'll buy the notebook from you. That's going to do it. All right, so let's see. Um, I'll buy the notebook from you is probably what's going to get him to give it to us. You wouldn't understand the notebook. He'll just be like, like, fly. The notebook reminds me of Doc. He's not going to care. The notebook is worthless. Then why do you want it? The notebook is dangerous. Ooh, then he wants it for sure. I'll buy the I'll notebook pay from for you. it. How much? Um, Not enough. What? Um, the notebook reminds me of Doc. Appeal to emotion. Because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time Bro. To get over it and move on. Okay, the notebook is worthless. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't mm -hmm. want it so bad. I knew it. You wouldn't understand the notebook. The notebook is just dangerous. Just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Bro. You won't... That right. notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You, you calling me ignorant? ignorant? Yes. Ah, uh, never mind. Dude, I was totally right. I thought maybe he would be more into the money, but electrical equipment. 
Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh. Let's make some noise. Make some noise? Okay. Oh, man. About to get loud in here, ain't it? We gotta, like, reenact the first. The, like, the opening scenes from the first movie. It took Amplifier. me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. For pennies, bro? Really? George McFly's an idiot if he sells it for pennies, man. Hey, Dad, why does my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. You picked up Marty's guitar. Press X to open your inventory. We have a photo of George McFly. Marty's guitar. All right. Oh my gosh, it's about to get real. Uh, an oldie, warning. But a goodie. One, warning two, headphone users. Three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. About to get real now. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. And he can't get the freaking notebook, bro? George McFly is the most. There we go. I saw it. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. I saw it. You kids have ruined rock and roll. Okay, it's on the ground, like right over here. It's underneath the freaking. I saw it. Okay, what else is over here? George. Okay, well, I guess we speak to George. Hey, Dad. Who's running, Who's the running sale? this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. Where's that guy? John? I can fight my own fights, Dad. I had a dream. Doc's alive. Okay, I think I can fight my Not own fights, Biff. Dad. Dad. I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. He's definitely had his running with more than a one tannin. I guess you can. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. About Biff. Here we go. Problem? Biff? He's got this thing see and i really need to get it back if he stole something from you no it, it's one of doc's notebooks yeah, he found it first but oh well then i'm not sure what to tell you i guess you'll just have to appeal to his better this angels guy. or something this guy or something now now this whole thing means a lot to doc okay i had a dream doc's alive i'm telling you this sale is a joke doc's only been gone for a few months and i happen to know yes you've told us he's not dead he's on a trip Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? Ooh. I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. Hmm. You got Doc wrong. Doc wrong. I need to protect Doc's notebook. Doc's is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't oh, have it both oh, ways, brother. Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. So if you are selling off his individual items, including his notebook, which could have tons of scientific revelations in it, that could be sold off to somebody who could then sell it or give it to somebody who could use that and take the take those scientific revelations as their own, take credit for it, and therefore, you know, patents, trademarks, stuff like that copyrights and just now doc's legacy is just this crazy dude from hill valley while this dude who has doc's notebook is just you know super rich and has this legacy of being a scientific genius without doing any work so there you go dad there you go you got doc wrong sure maybe he's not so good with money that's just because his mind's always on bigger things but he's still a straight up guy he'd never run away from his problems 
Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Bro. Bro. grabs him off. Bro. <laughs> Alright, I had a dream. You think dreams can predict the future? Ooh. Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. Ooh. It'd be really it'd be really I'll interesting. Keep looking around. Thanks, if Dad. they're like if Doc's like, Marty, there's a quantum anomaly has allowed you to see into the future. That'd be so interesting. Okay, talk to Biff. Here we go. Hey, Biff. I'll buy the notebook from I'll you. Pay you for it. How much? Uh, Not enough. Hmm. Uh, okay. Never mind. All right. Well, I looked at everything. Get Doc's notebook back from Biff. I miss Einstein. Okay. Dog feeder. Hey, I want to try something. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hmm. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene mm. to prevent your own conception, for example? Right. Okay, I could have sworn I saw the notebook fly out. How? Okay. Marty's guitar. Do you want to do this again? And now, something your kids are really going to like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Turning it up. Oh. I see. I see. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Uh-oh. Wow! Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. Almost swore. He almost swore. There we go, guys. We figured it out. It just took me a million years. Oh man. Uh, Doc, where are you? Bro! Oh no! George about to look like a stupid idiot right now. Watch this. There it is. There it is. Frozen. What if this is Einstein, bro? DeLorean, Doc. here we go. What if this is Einstein from that dream, dude? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So... Oh, it's cold. It's Einstein! Einstein. What? Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Dude, dude, dude. Is that a heel? That is a heel. Okay. Ew. Okay, Doc. I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Okay. Time circuit switch. Time circuit display. Turn the time circuit display on. Use to enter a date into the time circuits. Oh. All right, hand ta handheld tape recorder. Marty. Ah. Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity. And despite my elaborate precautions, there's always a possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now. Or then. Or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back or, or forward to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you going to tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark last time departed. Good luck. Oh my right, god. Right. Last time departed. Last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Crap. 
Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when, when to, to look, look for, for Doc. Doc. Okay. Context clues. Context clues. Time. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Right, right, right. Okay. So these are only options. We have to exit. Okay, so what would I do? Okay, how would I figure this out? Hmm. If you're unsure or if your current goal, press the LS button. Follow the trail to Doc. Okay, I got you. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Solid. Okay. DeLorean. Our options are the DeLorean. Is there any... What does this mean? Oh, it tells us the current time. 6.12 p.m. Okay. And I guess Y is probably a tip button that we will use if we... Okay, can we go back in here? No. Hmm. So we're stuck out here? Am I missing something? Heal. Okay, well, let's just hit... I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Well, once I know when to look for Doc. Doc. Okay, can I look... Okay, I am at a loss here. So we have switch... I probably which... shouldn't fill with the time circuits again until I know, I know when, when to, to look, look for, for Doc. Doc. I don't know... I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. But something to do with Einstein, right? Like, I'm not seeing... What is... What do we got going on with him? What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Is it... What? Our options are DeLorean. Or this way can I go? Okay, hold on. How much time? Hmm. Okay, can I go this way? Can I go the trash? I don't don't really see what my options are here. Can't go back inside, right? If our options are Delore. Can I go in this way? No. This item. time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Hmm. Hmm. If I go in here. Nah. Oh. Marty. Ah. Marty. Ah. I don't think <gasps> so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This time I see. traveling shoe I see. is the only clue to finding Doc. So we select this item. Right now we have this in in hand, and then... what do you know about this shoe? There we go. Great Scott! I think he's onto something. There we go. There we go. It is time. It is time. Come on. Wow. How far out is this? It's pretty far if he's hooked up. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Man, okay. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Hmm. Well. He's Strickland. Where, uh, Strickland? Who is Strickland? Step away from oh. the door! Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Um, okay, we gotta show her the shoe? I imagine this is her shoe. A shoe? What would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Exactly, exactly, exactly. 
Must be her shoe. Oh, that is less. That is less pristine. Buzz me in now, lady. Come on. There we go. Leave that creature outside. How dare you? Einstein, he's Sorry, a god. Einstein. Einstein's an amazing. Look at him. He's so cute. Y'all need to watch Back to the Future, at least part one if you ain't seen if you ain't seen it. Part one, great. Part two, good. Part three, also good. Also good. Solid franchise. Okay. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. I mean, mm, much better. So neat and orderly. She just kept the shoe. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I. All I've got is tea and candy. But thanks, I'm candy. Sorry, I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump Yo. to conclusions, but after all, <laughs> Yo, women are jumping into conclusions. Am I right, guys? Up top, up top, up top. It's a fact. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> Okay. That's a nice looking pot. I'm not gonna uh, lie. Have a seat, Sonny. Oh jeez. Oh man. Hey, you kids! <laughs> Put out those cigarettes! Come on, man. All right, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna end this one right here. I'm gonna call it. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, just like this one. You just you have to hit the subscribe button. You just have to. I hope you enjoyed. There's so much. This is so fun. We're gonna we're gonna get into oh we're gonna get into so so much time travel shenanigans. I'm sure. We will talk to this old lady Edna. We'll talk to old lady Edna next time. I will see you all next time. Peace.